Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use RStudio Cloud to create a workspace that will allow you to run R and Python in the same markdown file. So if you don't have any issues with your computer, this may not be necessary. Um, however, I know I've had some students this semester who've had some different computer difficulties because their computer is either a little bit older or just doesn't want to work. So I thought I would show you how I've been setting up these cloud environments for my students to have a place that at least the code should run. So first thing you need is an RStudio Cloud account. This is free. And um, once you get logged into that, which you can do, connect through GitHub and Google as well. I'm just going to hit new project to get one of these set up. And these work really great for um, education purposes, especially like a, a guest lecture or a, a workshop. I've used it for both. It will take a minute to build the project. So we're going to build one for my students to do correspondence analysis. And so once you get the project built, first thing you want to do is name your project. So I'm going to call this correspondence because that's the section we're doing. Now in each of these cloud workspaces, you're limited to about a gigabyte of space, which is fine for small projects. So I can't build an entire course one um, simply because that would take up too much space because some of the Python packages we're using are quite large. Now in each of these, I'm building a little script that includes a setup file, which I've already put together. Let's make this a little bigger. I'm also going to rearrange my windows to be my favorite layout, which puts the console over here. Okay. And so um, this works exactly like our studio because it is. <laughs> and so I'm just going to create this little setup file. And you'll be able to down, uh, open this uh, cloud environment yourself. I'll give the link at the end. Since our class is using Markdown to complete their assignments, what I'm first going to do is install our Markdown. And then I can also, while that installs, because it takes a minute, do know that this works very similarly to Studio, and I could upload their, my lecture slides and the assignment once I make it. So first I'm going to do is just kind of upload my Markdown file while we wait for Markdown to install. And since this requires an image, I'm going to upload that too. So now I'll be able to actually run my slideshow in this cloud environment. Now for many of these, this is based on a textbook called uh, How to Do Linguistics with R. And so one cool thing that I figured out how to do was install packages from a link. So this link will take you to the OSF page for this class, which I have all of my classes on OSF here. And so specifically human language and R, this is R and Python is an update. And there's two files in my resources here. So this will allow you to download and install these um, resources anywhere. So you can use this link in your own cloud environment or you can just copy the one I'm making now. And that Arling package is very specific to this class or that textbook. You can find the package uh, compiled version on their textbook website, uh, which is where I downloaded it from. So the next step for an RM Python environment, this is specific to Python, is to install Reticulate. Okay, and then I also had to install RAPTORS or, or the next step won't work. <laughs> And so one issue right now is that Reticulate, as it stands in CRAN, has a couple of bugs that they haven't fixed. So the next step is to install the dev version of Reticulate. So this is the developmental version where they fixed this particular problem. And so what I did originally was set up RStudio, install Reticulate, and look at the Python versions that they had already installed. So they had a version of Python 2 and a version of Python 3. I'm going to run this next line while I explain what's happening. So I told it, use Python 3, because Python 2 is going away in January. And unfortunately, in the CRAN version of Reticulate, you can tell it to use Python 3, but it won't. <laughs> so uh, in the developmental version, like literally in the last couple of weeks, they have fixed this issue 
where we can use Python 3 instead of Python 2. And you definitely want to use 3 because 2 is going away. So I downloaded the GitHub dev version of Reticulate, built it into a package that we can install using um, this install packages method from, from um, a compiled file or the tar file rather than installing it directly. Okay. So I installed it here just so I got all of its dependencies and then I just kind of overwrote that version of Reticulate which is 1.13 um, with the development version which is 1.13 0-9. <laughs> so once Reticulate pushes these new versions to CRAN, that problem will go away. But for right now, to get this to work, here's what I'm doing. Okay. Once you do that, you can actually load the Reticulate library. And one of the options is pydiscoverconfig. So this will tell you what Python versions are installed in your environment. Okay, it's going to tell me that nothing is installed over here. Right? Um, so which is interesting because cloud does come in, uh, with Python 3 and Python 2.7 installed, but this is actually good for us because it asks if we want to install Miniconda. And the answer to that is yes. Okay. We'll give Miniconda a few minutes to install. Okay. So specific to this section of the course, I'm also going to install a couple of other little packages that we're using. So we're going to include CA for correspondence analysis and facto mine R for some cool pictures. Right. And so I just have this top set up for all of them. So this will get you where you can work with Markdown, Python, and um, R all together. Now this is specific to this section of the course. So the next thing I'm gonna run for my Python specific areas is pyconfig once this is done. Pyconfig will tell you where it's currently configured. Now you can't run pyconfig more than once in an R session. So if you realize it's the wrong configuration and need to fix it, just do session restart R. And it will tell you that in the error message. Hopefully you're watching this on 1.5 speed. I sound really interesting. Also, it will go through the installation a bit faster. Perfect. Okay, let's see what Python configuration we're working with here. It creates us a reticulate environment using Miniconda. This is very good. This is what we want. Um, and I just always want to make sure that this version of Python is at least 3 plus. Now Python is on 3.7, but that um, this version works great for most issues. Okay. So that looks good. I'm going to pi install uh, the prints package, which is one that allows you to do like principal components and correspondence analysis, which is what this section is over. And then every once in a while, what you'll get here in this section, when you go to install a package, if it's not in Conda, that's in another pi pi, so it's like P Y P I, I think, um, repository. So the nice thing about R is that everything is in one place. It's all in CRAN or maybe it's in GitHub, it's in development, right? Sometimes what happens here is that if it's not in the Conda repository, which is run by Anaconda, it means it's in the other repository, which I do believe is PyPy. And if you aren't sure, you can just type in the name of the package, installation, I always type Python at the end so I don't get anything weird. Yeah, PyPy. So this is the other repository where all packages, where um, Python packages are stored that aren't, you know, just development on GitHub. And so if you get this error message where it says, I looked in Anaconda, it's not there. What you want to do is pip equals true. And that will install the package from pip. 
which tells it to look in both places. So you guys would do pip equals true each time. You can also install this directly through terminal. Um, I do find the, oops, sorry. I do find the R installation a touch easier because then I don't have to kind of go back and forth. I can check and make sure that it worked okay by using import prints. And as long as that returns module prints, we're good to go. Now we would be able to run uh, Python and R together and I can make sure that my markdown is going to work. I'm going to come over here. These are my lecture slides. These are also available on the OSF page. I can just hit knit. And if all goes well, no. So um, I would have to figure out why this isn't working basically, but essentially then I would be able to have a nice setup where everything will run properly for my students. So quick and dirty how to set up RStudio Cloud to run Markdown, R, and Python all together.